You know what, Corso? I think it's high time I got myself something to wear that would just suit me wherever I go. What do you think, Corso? Do you agree with me? You ever get the feeling we're in over our heads? All the time. But I'm still gonna change. Aw, oh, yeah, Corso. It's time to blow shit up, kill some thugs, and do some outright smuggling. Does that sound fun to you? You got an interesting idea of fun. Well, screw you! Also, I'm not gonna lie, that took like 12 attempts. So, don't judge me. Hello, everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to The Smuggler in the Blind, Episode 3. We are now going to be heading our way to Coruscant, but first we must make our way to the Ord Mantel shuttle port. Why? I actually have no idea. I thought it was just the um, the trooper that had something going down at the shuttle port, but I guess the smuggler does as well. Should we find out what? I think we shall. It is boiling hot. So hot, it's like 26 degrees, 27, 28, I don't even know. I'm just so hot though. Uh, hello! Uh, go to the Ord Mantel shuttle port. We're here now! Is that? I was gonna say, is that meant to be a ship there? I'm kind of invisible. Oh, that was a bit weird. Now this is what I call service. We step off the shuttle, and the bounty we're here to collect is already waiting. Perfect. I'm sick of being cooped up on starships, Zoru. I want to run around and shoot things for a while. Easy, Kindin. Greetings, gentle being captain. We are here on behalf of Rogan the Butcher. It seems he'd like a word with you. Oh yeah, it's true. Uh, smuggling blind. Tell Rogan to get spaced. Ooh, a fighter. This might be fun after all. I'm afraid we're not messengers, my good captain. If you have any advice for Rogan, you should deliver it yourself. In person. Please don't make this difficult. We get a substantial bonus if we bring you in alive. Come along quietly. How much would it cost for you to forget you ever saw me? Do you really think you can buy our loyalty? Because you can. Of course. It's just a shame you can't outbid Rogan. We're going to common free you now, alright? I promise it won't hurt much, and it really is the safest way to travel. Doesn't sound too safe to me. I think I'll pass. Well, it's safer than what Kindin wants to do. You really should have surrendered, Captain. But I'm glad you didn't. I mean, I kind of wish I could have. That would be quite nice if you literally could just be all like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll surrender," and then see where that takes you, and then escape from there. But no, unfortunately, Bioware didn't add that because they didn't want to. I don't know, do it too much, go too much down that route. I'm just gonna kill you, Zoro. If you, if you hurry up and let me die. Let me die. Let you. What am I saying anymore? I'm so hot. I can't talk. <laughs> Take a shuttle to a public fleet. Oh, so what was the point in coming in this way then? If my shuttle is that way! Seriously. Oh yeah, I need to get the uh, the blaster, don't I? Of course. Is this better than what I've got now? Um, no. Alright then. Well, you can shove off then. Uh, oh, that's better than what I've got. Lovely. What about this? Oh yeah, this is the jacket which I got. If you want the jacket which um, uh, Har Harillo is actually wearing, it's Exiled Revolutionary's Jacket. Also known as, um, Koff's jacket. Yes, it suits Harlow very well. Ah, so which outfit would look better on Corso? Um, I think we'll go for the middle one. Yeah, do you think so? Do you think so? Should we see what it looks like on Corso? I think we shall. Corso, wear that, that, and that. And then unify the colours. That, that didn't do anything. There we go. I guess that looks alright. Eh, it could be better. Ooh, XP boost. I will take that. Thank you very much. Ball of Charlotte Coruscant. We're not going to do the S list like I uh, did the uh, Black Talon. Black, is that what? Yeah, Black Talon? Yeah, whatever it is. On the Imperial side. I can't believe I forgot the name of it already. Um, we're just going to go straight to Coruscant because I, I'm trying to make this a very quick episode because uh, I've got to go out soon. So... Y y you know, it's also for the advanced class thing as well. But what he chose my advanced class gunslinger, like you guys voted, and I've also gone for sharpshooter. Probably wrong one. Let me know if it's the wrong one. It most likely is, because you guys are always controlling my life. 
Why do you control my life? Why does this look more like a house than an actual ship? Hmm. I mean, sure, a ship can be a house, but this just looks like a... I don't know, a ship that can be transformed into a house. I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just making stuff up. This is what I do with all my videos. I just try and say stuff. I, 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 I say stuff and hope that it makes you laugh. Am I making you laugh now? <laughs> I'm making you laugh right now, aren't I? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Use the customs terminal. Let's log in, shall we, Corso? Corso Security and Customs Enforcement Division welcomes you, gentle being. I don't know what I was saying there. Error identification protocols plus past cargo logs is contradictory. Request please hold for Customs Enforcement Agent. Uh oh. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, so funny. <laughs> You're saying that my character does this on every planet, in theory? Identification protocols accepted! Coruscant Security Customs Force Institution welcomes you, Admi Admiral Newman. Admiral Newman? Request Everything in Coruscant day. is huge. You see those city towers as we flew in? How many people you figure live in those? Millions? Uh... Looks like some of the city towers lost a few levels. Heard the Sith Empire hit this planet pretty hard. Even knocked the Jedi Temple off its pedestal. Oh dear. Wanna find Skavik before we're too old to shoot straight? We're gonna need local help. I can handle myself. I don't even need you. I'm in this too, alright? Vito is a friend of mine. Skavik needs to pay for what happened to him. There's a gambler named Darmus Pollerin who keeps tabs on everything worth knowing about Coruscant. Good man. You'll like him. What else do you know? Vito called him an information broker. When Darmus isn't playing Sabak, he buys and sells the kind of answers we need. I still have Vito's hollow frequency contacts, and Darmus is one of them. Give me a second, and we'll talk to the man himself. Corso, is that you? It's been too long, you rascal. What brings you to Coruscant? Me. A friend and I are in a real bind. Is there a place we can meet you? Of course. Come to my private cantina booth. I'm here now, winning my tenth hand of Sabak against a very persistent rodeo. Hope you don't mind the occasional blast of fire. The cantina is in a rowdy part of Coruscant. I'll be there as quick as I can. Well, this sounds urgent. I can't wait to hear the details. Keep your comlink channel open, Darmus. I've got some bad news about V2. I'll bring Darmus up to speed while we travel, Captain. Keep your eyes open for that scum sucker who stole my ship. You got it. Oh dear, things aren't going well between Corso and Harilo. Harilo thinks that he can go on and do things alone. Well, he is so right. So of course, this is Smuggler in the Blind. The plan, kind of, is to have, I guess, Howlo hate Corso for the moment. Um, and then he'll you know, kind of come and grow to like him. Whether that'll happen, I don't know. I don't know if that'll happen or not. Um, because like I said, it is uh, Smuggler in the Blind, so anything can happen. I shall select an available travel route. I still wish our companion could be in the other seat. I mean, there's an empty seat there. Why can't my companion get in as well? It would just be so cool. I know it's like a useless thing, but it would look cool. But anyway, do it, please. Please don't tell me we've got to go far. Please don't tell me we've got to go far. Why are we going over here? Why are we going over here? I don't want to have to go too far. I've not got time for this. I'm recording because it's Monday. I need to do the Smuggler episode for tomorrow. I've already done the Inquisitor episode. Well, that was almost late as well because I only recorded that today. Oh, what's this mail as well? Uh, thanks from Skarvik. I still have friends on Oddman Tower, and they told me your friend Serena. You fried Serena. Oh, my friend Serena. Yeah, whatever. Nice work, Captain. You're a real pal. Now I don't have to worry about running into her favorite cantinas. She was pretty enough, but way too clean and dumber than a load lifter. Then again, aren't they all? I don't know, are they? Could be. You know, I'm so tempted to make Harlow gay. Why? It'd be fun. It would seriously be fun. Oh! And we are going to do the companion stories for the smuggler because we haven't done the companion stories for the smuggler. I haven't actually gone through all the companion stories for the smuggler, so might as well. This is the best feeling. A sky full of stars, a new planet waiting across the galaxy, never gets old. 
I thought you'd never been off Ward Mantel. You know that much about me, Captain? You're a rare man to read someone's whole life so fast. When I came back to Ord Mantel, I thought that was the end for me. Thanks for giving me a way off. You're welcome, I think. Um, alright. Oh, there's another one as well! Yay! So, how about that war, huh, Captain? You think the Republic will stop hiding behind the Treaty of Coruscant and admit they want the Empire wiped out? It doesn't sit right negotiating with people who want every man, woman, and kid dead. What does it matter how they kill each other, as long as there's credits to be made? And you call me naive. There's no credits to be made in an Imperial slave collar. Well... I joined the Peace Brigade when I was 14. I know what a world looks like when the Empire's done with it. The way Skavik talked, I thought you were fresh off the farm. Me and Skavik weren't as close as he thought. The Brigade's a relief organization. Go into worlds abandoned by the Treaty of Coruscant. Help people displaced by the Empire. I was a kid looking for an adventure. After two months... Let's just say there are no kids in war zones. Why does the guy behind your corso look like he's in pain? He looks like he's been shot or something. I have no idea. Apparently there's another one. Um, Anything you want, Captain. But... Y yeah, there's, there's another one apparently, but it won't actually let me talk to him about it. I mean, we're in a cantina. I've just spoken to him twice, so you can shut up. I don't want to talk to you right now. I don't know who you are, but you can shut up. So, oh well, I guess... Oh, it's disappeared now. Okay, it was. I guess it was just a bug. Um, hello, Damas. Damas, hello. Your friend Corso is here, and his uh, very attractive friend too. Is this like the Star Wars version of poker? I really can't tell. Ooh, the stare down. How can you tell in a Rodian's eyes though if he's lying or not? I have no idea. <laughs> Macho Banky. Oh, he looks sad. You could almost see like a sad face. Welcome, my friend. I'm Darmus Polarance, a back player and information resource without equal. You seem to have a lot of female admirers. Women seem to find me irresistible. Just one more way, I'm an extremely fortunate man. Sorry to hear about Vidu. He was a man of refined taste and a terrible card player. I'll truly miss him. Life is like Sabak. The trick is to quit while you're ahead and enjoy your winnings. Exactly how I'll spend my twilight years. Looks to me like you're already in your twilight years. Oh, really? Good thing I'm having such a wonderful time then. Now, I know this isn't a social call. Corso says you have troubles, and I'm prepared to help. A man named Skavik stole my freighter and brought it here. Corso mentioned a cargo hold full of stolen blasters, and the infamous Rogan the Butcher, too. My sympathies. Skavik is well known in the galactic underworld. He's earned death sentences across the galaxy for everything from armed robbery to kidnapping. He's known to be in the Sith Empire's pocket, and he even cheats at cards. Ah! Oh. I'm happy to help you find him. If there's ever a reason to find Skavik, it's the fact that he cheats on cards. Oh my! Skavik works for the Empire? On occasion, yes. The man isn't particular about his friends. Let's hope that makes him easier to catch. As soon as Corso mentioned Skavik's name, I alerted all my best informants. I'm getting some interesting leads. What did I tell you, Captain? Darmus can find out anything. We'll have Skavik in no time. We better. Let's hear Darmus's brilliant advice first. I don't offer advice, Captain. Only information. What you do with it is up to you. Skavik recently used the services of a data slicer named Kixie in the Migrant Merchants Guild headquarters. Quite talented, I hear. What do you know about this guild? It's made up of aliens who lost their homes in the war. The guild's original goal was self-preservation, but lately, they've become greedy. Kixie might be able to help you flush Skavik out of hiding. Be careful, though. The guild is well-armed and doesn't like outsiders. Excuse me, but I noticed some delightful young ladies in desperate need of attention. Duty calls. Yep, it's decided I'm going to make Harlow bisexual, not just straight up gay. He likes men 
and women. Or as my friend calls them, greedy. Yep, my friend calls bisexual people greedy. And they're right. Yeah, I mean, if you like men and women, why the hell not? You weren't there when I walked in. Well, now you are. So if my friend calls bisexual people greedy, does that mean I'm a traitor? I, I, I don't know, because, you know, they say that it's supposed to be one man, one woman. Oh, oh, but I like men. Oh, oh, am I a traitor to my race? Oh, oh no. Oh my god, I'm sweating like mad here. I'm sweating, seriously. I mean, you could literally get a squeegee, wipe my forehead, and you would be able to hear the wetness on my forehead. Seriously, I mean, ugh. Uh, disgusting. We need to use a security panel, which is over here. And I completely forgot why we need to use a security panel. Like I said a long time ago in another video, I kind of play the game, not understand what the heck is going on, and then when I'm doing my editing, I understand what's going on. It's the completely wrong way to play the game, because, you know, you want my reaction in real time. But, you know, obviously when it comes to, like, Cop face stuff. Yeah, I will. Well, you know, my main character I should say I kind of do pay attention, but. Eh. Tax secure station. Insert clearance pass. Oh. Pixie better be worth all this extra trouble. There's bound to be somebody around here with a clearance pass. You ready for some more action, Captain? Are you saying that you're gonna allow me to kill some women to get a pass? Are there any women around? I don't know. Wait, are you a woman? No, you're a man. But! But! If there are women around, you're saying that Corso would allow me to kill them? Because he doesn't like people killing women. You know, he's very much a feminist. I gathered that. Ah oh well, not killing any women today, Corso. Use the security panel. I've got myself a clearance. Yes. Open up, you stupid door. Clearance pass detected. Cool. Get to Kixie! Kixie, Kixie, Trixie, Trixie, Bixie, Bixie, Fixie, Fixie, Nixie, Nixie. I can't think of any more that ends with Ixie. Oh my god, there's droids trying to kill me! Oh no! Oh, but it's a bonus mission. I might as well do that. It's like. I don't know, just six to kill? Why the hell not? Plus, the only times I'm gonna have no choice, gonna be walking past them anyway. So it's very much not a bonus mission, it's a mandatory mission. To be honest with you. Unless I guess if I was uh, the other one, not Gunslinger, if I was the, the other one, whatever it is. Scoundrel, that's it. Because then I could be in stealth. Um, but, you know, I, I could I'd probably only skip past those guys here. I would be able to skip past these guys. Knock, knock. Knocky, knocky. Hello. I've been monitoring you on the security network. You sure know how to make an entrance. Guess we found our slicer. But why does this room look like a prison? Because it is a prison. Thanks for noticing. Whatever issues you're having with the guild, I'm on your side. I'm just a slave here. I'm not here to blast you. Then is there any chance you're here to free me? Because I'm definitely ready to not be here. The guild locked me up two years ago. Forced me to work for them. I'll do anything to get out. What do you need? Skavik is the only thing I'm here to talk about, sister. Sister? Who calls people that? I do. I knew that Corellian pig lizard Skavik had ticked off the wrong person. No wonder he was in such a hurry. Skavik paid the guild to clean his identity record. They made me slice into the Republic's main database and delete all his arrest warrants. You just cracked open the Republic's database and changed things? That's what I do. The Republic administrators never even knew I was there. Sorry, but that's all I know about Skavik. I'm not sure how else to help you. I want you to make that scum's life miserable. I don't know about miserable, but I think I can put him on the defensive. Take away his spotless identity record, and Skavik can't walk 10 meters without attracting attention. He'll be a lot easier to find. I can ruin Skavik's identity record for you in no time. If I do that, will you let me go? Show me what you can do to him first. I've been slicing the Republic's main databank for years. There's nothing I can't do. I saved copies of everything I erased from Skavik's identity record. All I have to do now is transfer the data back. There. Easy. The minute he passes an identity checkpoint, it'll trigger an alarm. I really hope I don't kill you. A gangster put a price on my head. Can you fix that? The thing about gangsters is, getting in trouble with them is easy. Getting out? That's something else. Sorry, I can't help you there. Okay, let me go now so I can make it out before they lock this place down. I can imagine one is like, let you out. I was always planning there to let go. you go. Thank you, you're my hero. Maybe we should go check in with Darmus. See if he's got any new info on Skavik. 
Corsa would be super angry with me if I'd killed her. I didn't want that. I mean, yeah, Corsa's already annoyed at me that I killed uh, whatever her face was. I've already forgotten her name. Um, but if I'd killed her for practically no reason this time, I mean, she's just helped us out. What if, if I killed her then? Whew! Well then. But we're going to leave it here for now. We will return to Darmison next episode because I need to go. I need to go. Watch them Ghostbusters! I know, I'm going to see the Ghostbusters film now. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you next time, and a farewell to you.